Welcome back to my road to completion guide for Ghost of Tsushima. This is episode two. Tsushima Island is separated into three regions with many places to explore. Question marks represent undiscovered locations. Gold diamond shaped icons represent main story tales. Scroll across icons on the map to reveal objectives and rewards. As we complete tales, liberate Mongol territories, and grab collectibles, our legend will grow, eventually unlocking a trophy called the Ghost of Legend. Press X to set a waypoint on the coast near Castle Canada. It doesn't have to be in this exact location, just in the general area. We have to collect 30 pieces of vanity gear to unlock the Slay Trophy, and we already have two in our inventory. Vanity gear can be found in random places on the world map or by completing various objectives. Obtaining vanity gear doesn't increase our stats, but provides a path to customize Jen's appearance. Travel to the small island in the lake to compose our first haku. To complete the haku, press X to focus on objects in the environment. The choices you make are personal to your playthrough and will not affect any trophies. Completing this haku gives us another piece of vanity gear called the Headband of Refuge. Calm waters, calm mind. Growth that shelters all it sees. Sturdy do we stand. The purpose of this RTC guide is to unlock the Platinum Trophy during the credits. Because we're clearing the map as we play, setting waypoints isn't always an option, but tracking landmarks, following the wind and trails is a great way to explore the island without getting lost. We will use trails 90% of the time to navigate, and I'll be sure to go slow through intersections to make it easier for you to follow along. Anytime we use trails, I encourage you to play and watch the video at the same time so you can move to new locations with ease. Anytime we're not riding trails, I'll move in a straight line toward landmarks such as the gate up ahead. Sometimes I'll even use the bow to point us in the right direction. Follow me to the Golden Temple so we can trigger that location as a fast travel point. After long rides, I'll pull up the map to show you exactly where we are just in case you're lost. After the Golden Temple icon appears on the map, turn around and follow me to the Ogawa Dojo.
quickly, Kage. Liberating all the Mongol territories unlocks several trophies throughout the campaign. Killing all the Mongols is usually enough to liberate each territory, but sometimes it's necessary to complete extra objectives. Since we also have to worry about grabbing collectibles, our first priority will always be killing the enemies. <laughs> Okay, 
When you finish off the enemies, run back to the main gate and follow my path to grab collectibles and complete the necessary objectives to liberate the dojo. We only have to collect 20 records to unlock the Avid Reader Trophy. All the records are available after completing the campaign, so missing a few along the way isn't a problem. You can always backtrack and find the ones you've missed, or simply pick up any remaining records to get the trophy. We have to collect a ton of resources to upgrade our katana and a specific set of armor later in the game, so make sure to grab the leather before you leave. The amount of leather you get is random, but I've planned for this, so keep following the guide and you'll have no problem making the upgrades later. Banners are not required to unlock any trophies, but must be collected to liberate certain territories. After grabbing the collectibles and banners, light the powder cache to trigger the duel. We have to complete every duel in the game to unlock a trophy and this is our first one. Block until the warlord swings through your guard and counter with quick attacks. You can also dodge to avoid attacks. Killing leaders increases progress toward the next stance. Learning all four stances unlocks a trophy called Quick Study. Save your technique points so we can make necessary upgrades throughout the run. 
Eventually, you'll be able to spend technique points on any skills you choose. Talk to the merchant to get the traveler's attire. This outfit helps track down collectibles, but isn't necessary for a trophy. However, it might come in handy should you miss certain collectibles along the way. I'm sure we will find out soon if the monks are right. All my goods are useful. We can use the wind, along with the traveler's attire, to track various places on the map. Again, this shouldn't be necessary, but it's available should you need it. Farewell. Grab the artifact on the cage outside the dojo. We only have to collect 20 artifacts to unlock a trophy called Know Your Enemy. Follow me through Yoichi's Crossroads to Hiyoshi Springs. If you encounter enemies along the way, restart the checkpoint to get rid of them. Yoshi Springs. Perhaps someone at the inn can direct me to Sensei Ishikawa. Check the map to make sure an icon for this location shows up before moving on. Now make the long ride to the pin location we set up earlier. Hey. <laughs>
하루 Our goal is to swim to the second region of the island without completing the first region. The process is simple but requires a little finesse. There are three small sandbars near the rock wall that we have to find before the timer reaches zero. Touching the first sandbar resets the timer, giving us another 10 seconds to reach the next one. Make sure to jump from the sandbar in between waves to get the most out of the timer. Once you reach the third sandbar, the timer will stop. There is a chance that this gets patched at some point in the future, but you can still get all the trophies. Moving into region 2 allows us to farm for iron, steel, and supplies, but you can gather all these resources playing the game naturally. It will just take you a bit longer to upgrade the katana and the armor we need to pop those two trophies later in the guide. Iron and steel can be found lying around Mongol territories. Since we have to liberate each territory to unlock a trophy, You'll have access to both of these resources as you naturally follow the guide. Completing certain tales also rewards us with steel and iron, so there shouldn't be any problem finding enough of these resources to upgrade gear as long as you're looking for it. You can find supplies while roaming the map or you can sell items from your inventory to trappers. I'll leave a list in the description and my pinned comment detailing exactly how much iron, steel, and resources you need to complete this run. Again, just to clarify, 
Farming iron, steel, and resources in Region 2 only speeds up the process of getting the platinum, but isn't necessary. All the resources you need can easily be obtained as long as you're actively looking for them. This foolproofs the guide even if it gets patched. Sensei Ishikawa might be able to help me, if he's alive. When you reach the second region, set a waypoint just south of Firefly Marsh and do not interact with anything. My fear is that interacting with objects in the environment or enemies outside of what I've tested could have a negative impact on the farming spot. The outfit you decide to wear is up to you. When you reach Marsh Rock Shrine, follow the trails until you reach the settlement. I should check on Yuna, see if she's found her brother.
quickly, Kirk. Ride to the T-shaped part of the dock and set up a save. Now follow me and collect the iron and steel from the carts. Do not pick up anything else in the settlement. If you accidentally pick something up, load up your save and restart the farming process. When you're done collecting, restart the checkpoint. Keep farming the materials until you have 500 pieces of iron. When you have 500 pieces of iron, fast travel to Hiyoshi Springs and sell them all to the trapper for 7,500 supplies. I wonder if Sensei Ishikawa survived the invasion. Hiyoshi Springs. Perhaps someone at the inn can direct me to Sensei Ishikawa. My lord, anything to offer from your hunting? condition. Thank you. Fast travel to Marsh Rock Shrine, travel to the settlement, set up a save, and farm 500 more pieces of iron.
you will automatically have more than enough steel after farming this route, but in case you're wondering, you only need 155. Something. Quickly, Tug. No escape for you. Now fast travel back to the Haku on the lake and I'll see you in episode 3. Be good. I wonder if Yuna has found her brother.